I knew she was going to cheat on me, so I catfished her to prove it. It started off like any other relationship. We met at a bar, hit it off, and started seeing each other. She was beautiful, funny, and seemed to like me for who I was. I was over the moon. But as time went on, I started to notice some things. Little things at first, like how she would take longer to respond to my texts, or how she would cancel plans at the last minute. Then, bigger things, like how she would sometimes be on her phone late at night, giggling at something she wouldn't show me. I started to get suspicious. Was she cheating on me? It seemed like a possibility, but I didn't want to believe it. I loved her, and the thought of her with someone else made my stomach turn. So, I started keeping an eye on her. I would try to peek over her shoulder when she was on her phone, or ask her innocent-sounding questions about her day. But she was always one step ahead of me. She would shut her phone off when I came near, or change the subject when I asked too many questions. I started to feel like I was going crazy. Was I just being paranoid? Was she really faithful to me, and I was just seeing things that weren't there? I didn't know what to do. That's when I got the idea to catfish her. I had heard about people doing it before, pretending to be someone else online to catch their partners in the act. It seemed extreme, but I felt like I had no other choice. I created a fake profile, using a picture of a good-looking guy I found on the internet. I made up a backstory for him, saying that he was new in town and looking to make some friends. I added some interests that I knew she would find appealing, like hiking and sushi. Then, I started chatting with her. At first, I didn't know what to say. I felt guilty for tricking her like this, but I couldn't back down now. So, I just asked her some generic questions about herself, trying to get her to open up. To my surprise, she was very responsive. She seemed interested in my fake persona, asking me lots of questions about my life and what I like to do. She even suggested we meet up sometime to go hiking together. That's when I knew for sure that she was cheating on me. Why else would she be so eager to meet up with a stranger when she had a perfectly good boyfriend already? I felt sick to my stomach, but also strangely relieved. I finally had proof that she was being unfaithful, and I could confront her about it. But I knew I had to keep up the act for a little while longer, just to be sure. So, I kept chatting with her. We talked about all kinds of things, from our favorite movies to our childhood memories. She even told me about some problems she was having in her relationship, how she felt like her boyfriend didn't understand her anymore. It was like a punch in the gut, hearing her talk about me like that. I had thought everything was fine between us, but clearly, I was wrong. Finally, I decided it was time to confront her. I arranged to meet her at a coffee shop, pretending to be my fake persona. I was nervous, but also angry. How could she do this to me? When I walked into the coffee shop, I saw her sitting there, looking beautiful as ever. She was scrolling through her phone, laughing at something. I felt the pain of jealousy, wondering who she was talking to. I walked up to her and introduced myself as the fake persona I had created. I could see the guilt in her eyes. She knew what she had been doing was wrong, and she didn't know how to respond. I decided to push a little harder. I asked her if she had been talking to other guys behind my back. She looked down at her phone, avoiding my gaze. Finally, she admitted it. She had been talking to other guys, flirting with them, and even meeting up with some of them. She said she was sorry that she didn't mean to hurt me, but it was too late. The damage had been done. I felt like a fool for believing in her, for trusting her. I told her it was over, that I couldn't be with someone who would do that to me. She tried to apologize again, but I didn't want to hear it. I got up and walked out of the coffee shop, feeling numb and empty inside. The next few weeks were tough. I went through all the stages of grief, from denial to anger to acceptance. I tried to keep myself busy, going out with friends, working on my hobbies, and focusing on my career. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't shake the feeling of betrayal. I had loved her, trusted her, and she had thrown it all away for some cheap thrills. In the end, I learned a valuable lesson. I learned that sometimes, people aren't who they seem. They might put on a facade, pretending to be someone they're not. I guess I did the same thing. But eventually, the truth will come out. And when it does, you have to be strong enough to face it head on. You have to be willing to walk away from someone who doesn't value your love and your trust. It wasn't easy, but I'm glad I catfished her. It was the only way I could find out the truth, and it saved me from a lifetime of heartache and disappointment. Now, I'm wiser and more cautious when it comes to relationships. I know that not everyone is trustworthy, and that it's better to be safe than sorry. And even though it hurt at the time, I'm grateful for the experience. It made me a stronger person, and it helped me realize what I truly deserve in a partner. What do you think? Do you think he went too far? How else could he have found out the truth? When you subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell. Click here for more Tangled Threats.